In this module, let's talk about policies and why policies are really important to consider as well as part of our secure software design. Now, when it comes to policies, we want to be able to understand that policies are generally going to be directives or guidance. Generally, they're issued by the C-level suite, could be IT management, could be any other organization and a company that has some kind of authority, human resources, legal, whoever, uh, whatever department it is. We want to be aware that policies should establish baselines and rules. Now, when it comes to policies, they really need to be identified as a policy. They should be documented. They should also be clearly stated, enforced, and updated. When it comes to policies, this policy, for it to be really considered something that we can understand as a developer and develop around, it really should be very specific. For example, does it lay out standards? Does it lay out baselines? Does it specify best practices? Does it specify workflows? Now, in reality, most of the policies I've seen really don't uh, say a whole lot in the commercial world. Now, in the government sector, it's very different. They reference a lot of standards like NIST or OWASP. Now, in the financial sector, it is a little bit sort of opaque, I guess, in some respects, depending on uh, the company. But generally, you want to reference any kind of standards, baselines, best practices. Now, generally, if there is anything referenced when it comes to security policies or something like that, it's generally like compliance related, such as PCI or HIPAA, perhaps as well, if you're in healthcare. When it comes to security guidelines, they need to be defined and implemented by a policy. For example, for security best practices, for people to follow guidelines, for example, having it implemented by a policy is just important. So, for example, have an acceptable use policy. These guidelines should be benchmarked as well. In other words, the minimum requirements should be set. They should be templated as well. When it comes to policies and ensuring that these policies are appropriate, they should be a framework for your security in a lot of respects. They should also address management concerns as well and then provide evidence of compliance as needed. From a developer perspective, the main points to know here is just be aware that policies are something that we may need to read and actually understand and then design our software to meet whatever requirements are specified in that policy or policies. Let's go ahead and move on to the next module.